Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today, just going to be planting up the lettuce. I want to show you the basic setup. I'll be doing this for all of my cool weather crops. However, tonight it's going to get down to 24 degrees. I want to get this lettuce out. It's plenty large enough and I'm going to cover this once in the ground with the tarp. I'll show you that process. But when your lettuce is about this size, it is perfect, ready to go into your containers, your vertical towers, or the ground. Here's the basic setup. I decided I'm also going to plant some spinach, more lettuce, and this is kale, collards, some cabbage, broccoli in there. These are actually growing in larger cells, so I do have some more time. But since I'm going to put a blanket down, you can see the roots coming out here. But since I'm going to put, not a blanket, but a tarp over these, they're going to be protected from the cooler temperature. And after uh, tomorrow, actually, the nighttime temperatures are going to be wonderful. I like growing them in these larger cells because they can sit in here. And these are just beautiful, healthy transplants. I sell all this at my seed shop. So we'll drop in the cool weather crops. They're going to go right into this space. I'm going to weed it, clean it up, get it ready for the lettuces and other cool weather crops. I'll show you what I put down and basically, you know, how I get everything planted. There's no need to turn this. This has pretty well been set up for like four years. You could turn it over, don't worry about that. Nothing wrong with digging and turning your garden. However, the weeds are pretty tough here. I just like to do this. Get the fork in, lift everything up. They'll be easy to remove. And then I'm gonna go through and I will loosen up the soil and just do that. That's all I need to do. No need to really turn it. Once I'm done here, we'll put down some fertilizer, some compost. The bed looks pretty good. All the remaining bits of weeds in there, I'll remove when I put in the lettuces and different cool weather crops. I'm just gonna leave what I pulled out right there. Uh, later on, it'll all go into the compost pile. And I just wanna show you again. I'm just using a fork. This is what I use for my potatoes. And I'm just going down, loosening, going to the middle, loosening, and then I would go right to here, loose, and do the same thing. Did that all the way down. This way, you don't have to turn the soil. It aerates it for you. Any organic granular, and I'm just going to heavily put it down, something like that, all the way down. Now, if you have a lot of compost, which I do, you don't really have to do this part, but I look for this to be on sale. I talk about it all the time. This is from like maybe three years ago. It was only like four bucks for a bag, and it's a 434 NP and K. So it's fine for this application. I'll go all the way down with the organic granular. Then I'm gonna put some uh, leaf compost across the top. I'll show you that. Work it in lightly and then we'll get to planting. This is about two cubic feet of leaf compost or any compost. And I'm just gonna cover the space by hand and just work it into the top. I think the area looks pretty good. Core of the crops are good to go in. And here's just what it looks like. Maybe 30 minutes, the whole process with the weeding. Nice and loose, not gonna have any trouble getting in the uh, leafy greens and cool weather crops. And it looked a little bit like this. That's another space for my basic earth bed. If you're just getting started with gardening and you're on a budget, I recommend just setting up mounds like this. This is the cheapest way to do it. And I've been growing in this space right here, really I think going on the fifth year and the soil has become wonderful. So over time you get better and better soil. And again, this is the cheapest way to plant a garden. So this planting is to get full size, or pretty much full size heads of lettuce. The spacing's gonna be four to six inches between there, and each plant or each plug has one plant or two plants in there. This way, they don't really compete, they're gonna get to a much larger size. And I just drop them like this. You don't wanna put too many out because you don't want the sun to dry the roots out. With the nice loose soil, all I have to do is reach in, do something like that. I'm just going to plant right to where my nail is, just above that space. Easiest way to do it is drop it in, tug it up a little bit, press it in, and you're all planted. When these are done, they're gonna get watered in with AgroThrive. I'm affiliated with them if you wanna use them as a water-soluble organic fertilizer. The water-soluble will feed these guys right away. The compost will give to them. Well, you might notice everything is planted problem with the video so I'm just going to pick up where I was leaving off. Your compost will provide nutrients right away to the plants and over the season. Your organic granular will start breaking down and feeding them over the next couple of months and a water-soluble fertilizer 
will feed them right away. You're not going to have to put any more nutrients in here for these plants. Just let them go, keep them watered. Since the video failed and I reshot it, now you can see everything that is planted in there. The lettuce again, you know, four to six inches apart, one to two plants in there, full size. The spinach I'm going to be harvesting as leaves. I'm not going to let them mature to full size. And they were planted just like the lettuce, maybe four inches apart, you know, much more closely. In here is broccoli. That's going to be six inches apart here, eight inches. This is artwork. I know this broccoli, I can plant it a little bit more closely. Generally speaking, you probably want eight to 12 inches between your broccoli plants, but I can kind of pack the stuff in there and I know everything is going to be fine. Over here are collards. I gave them more space. You know, that's at least 12 inches. They're going to get quite large, so I just put two in there. The collards and the broccoli can be planted a little bit differently. You can see that the stem is kind of wiry right here. So the lettuce we pretty much planted to the same depth as the cell to like right here. For the broccoli, we're going to go a little bit deeper and we're just going to press it in and that will just give it a little bit more support. So you can plant that a little bit deeper so the plants look stronger, they're standing upright, they're good to go. So water soluble fertilizer is going to come next. I probably won't show you that. Just use AgroThrive like I use, pour it on, you're good to go. The next step really is because these are leafy greens, the ground's starting to warm up, snails and slugs are going to come out. So you do want to scatter a, a snail bait or a snail and slug bait around and that will kill off the snails and slugs. It's changed the way that I can garden here in Maryland. If you don't get them, you don't need to worry about it. But I want to put that slug bait out now, take care of the snails and slugs, the greens will be okay. So we have a 24 degree night coming. I wanted to get these out. They were getting to size. I don't have time tomorrow. So the next step is to cover these. I'm going to cover these with a tarp. Oh, look, I missed spinach plant right over there. We'll have to get to that. I'm going to cover this with a painter's tarp. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put sticks in here all over so that the tarp stays above the, the, the greens a little bit. And I'm also going to put the tarp on now. It's about 3 p.m. I want heat to build up in here. The plants will be fine and that's going to protect them tonight. I'm going to do a full video on this after the freeze comes so I can remove the cover, show people what it looks like. But I thought I would just show you real quick how it's done. First step, lots of sticks in there just so that the tarp doesn't smash down the plants. I'm going to need to grab a second tarp. Key to this is you want a good overlap from where your plants are out into open space so that it captures the warmth all the way across. You don't want the edge of your cover to be right here because wind and stuff will get under there. So you do want it to come out, you know, two or three feet. One thing that I found by doing this is if you get your tomato cages and just lay them down like that, you can use that as the support. So, you know, just thought of that. It only took me 25 years to figure that out. If not, you can put sticks down and you just pull the tarp over. I'm going to get my second tarp, cover this, and then you just really want to weight it down on the sides so that the wind doesn't blow the cover off. I think you get the idea. I'll put the second piece on after the video. You can see right inside there, nice and supported. You don't want your cover to be too high because you really want to keep the warmth down and you're using the warmth from the ground. So if you make a big pocket, the cool air from the outside is going to cool that down. The closer it is to your leafy greens, the better. Little hole right up there. Maybe I'll patch that with some duct tape. But you want it weighted down well. The wind's blowing. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to do a full video on this tomorrow so that I can come out after we get that 24 degree temperature tonight, show you how the leafy greens survived survived. So this is how I plant up leafy greens, spinach, broccoli, collards, kale, all the steps, pretty simple. And final tip really is because I'm kind of starting these early, I put all the leafy greens, etc., in one space. So if you do get a frost, it's just a cover down this one row. If I pop these all over my garden, then I'm going to have to come up way, with ways to protect them all over the place. And that just doesn't, you know, really make sense. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Next video is going to be on protecting your plants and also planting potatoes. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.